Tuesday morning we woke up, we saw that the storm had shifted. I decided to move the boats in about an hour or so. So we took the boats through the Caloosahatchee River all the way to Lake Okeechobee and through to Fort Pierce. Stayed there the duration of the storm. And then once we got a pretty much a clear of how the, the storm hit and affected the Fort Myers, Naples area, we decided that Southwest Florida still needs 45s for search and rescue and LE missions. We made a trek from Fort Pierce to Fort Lauderdale to Station Marathon and all the way back around. And uh, we ended up putting our boats back into Station Cortez and Station St. Pete for a total of 41 hours. Definitely it's something that I haven't seen in my career uh, to try to get so many boat movements in such a small time. People are, you know, stronger than ever. People, strangers are helping strangers. You know, families are coming together. We definitely came together. We helped each other out. Some people at our station had damage to their house. A couple of guys went over, gave them a hand on their time off. So it definitely strengthened our morale. This is a very tight-knit group and community, not only the station, but how much the crew has helped out in the community. And that's one thing that I'm very proud to not only serve in the Coast Guard, but with this specific crew to go through this. We may not have a station and, and moving forward, you know, we'll, we'll get amenities, but nobody is down. Our morale is still high. But that kind of just shows the identity of this unit and how great everybody here is willing to do their part to just go on the next day and continue to get better.